Matthew 5, 16, it says, Let your light so shine before men. You know, being a Christian was a crime. If you got arrested, well, they have enough evidence on you. Because a lot of people said, said they're born again, but there's no light. You know, faith alone saves. But saving faith is never alone. The Bible says in James that even the devil and the demons believe in God. <laughs> they're not going to obey him. And it says you're going to have to do much more than that. <laughs> there has to be some kind of corresponding action in your faith for it to be real and genuine. Now, let me say this. So I'm not judging someone because they're not doing anything. Because you possibly could be saved, but possibly you could not be saved. The point I'm making is that I will not play around with my salvation Amen. and thinking I can just say I'm a Christian and never do any good works. Amen. No, let me, put, let me rephrase that. Never maintain good works. Because that's the principle. Maintaining good work. Not just do something here and there every now and then, once in a blue moon. He said, maintain good works. What? See, because the love of God, if you're born again, the love of God is shed abroad in your heart. It will come out. So if you don't have the love of God in your heart to do good works, to love on one another, we're not talking about your family. The Bible says even heathens can do that. But we're talking about people you don't know, ugly people, to walk in love with them and bless them. Amen? And so when you... Listen, church. <clears throat> this is... Now, because I'm, I'm sharing this with you this morning, this is not something to put fear in you to try to get you motivated to do something. The idea is what? To hear the word, let it get in your heart, and then start doing it because it becomes a part of you. Yeah. Amen. See, walking this walk out with Jesus Christ, you know how some people will, will say, Christians, they say, you know, let's just say they have friends. And they've left their friends and now they've come back to their old friends and not born again. And the friends want to do all those things that they used to do. And someone said, I can't do that. I'm a Christian. Wrong. Wrong thought. What they should say, I don't want to do that anymore. It's not that I can't do it. If, when you say you can't do it, it's like I'm forced not to do it against my will. But this, I'm, I'm so much in love with Jesus, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm a new creature. That is the attitude a Christian should have. I don't want to do it. That's when you know you're free. 